What's up, guys? Ryan from the Drop Podcast here. Got Dr. Mike again, week nine, TPI Tuesdays, rolling right along. Um, Mike, we got planned for me today. Ryan, this has quickly become my favorite day of the week. <laughs> this is so much fun. I, I've been loving working with you. Um, I'm loving the effort that you're putting in, and I, I appreciate that, man. I feel oh, like... <laughs> feelings mutual. There it you really go. is. Um, I feel like... Uh, I can see it. I feel like you can feel it. Yep. Um, you guys are seeing it. So it's really cool when things come together. Um, we start seeing some of the results that we want to see. Again, anything worthwhile takes time. It does. You know? I'm excited to go backward. Like, I haven't yeah. watched episode one yet, yeah. but to see how we do things differently yeah. and like how I've progressed. I do feel totally. better. I, do, I can certainly feel it to your point. Awesome. But like, when this is all over... Yeah. And I, and I go back and like sit down for like an hour and watch all watch of them. The I, I'm looking, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. I'm it looking will. forward to Me it too, for sure. Man. So um, again, today, just working on those uh, rotary deficits, especially um, in that trunk, your hips, um, where we notice a lot of that lack of uh, fine motor control movement. Yeah. So we're just gonna continue to pound away at that. Um, and again, I look forward to uh, another uh, fun session with you. Yeah, man. awesome. Let's do it. I would agree. Feelings mutual, bro. All right, Let's man. go. Let's do it. Pew, 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 pew. So today with Ryan, we're actually starting a little differently. We're using Square One Foundation, Square One Systems, to try and clear some lingering neurological threats that his brain might perceive throughout his body which could be limiting his hamstring mobility, um, lingering, some of that lingering back tightness, hip limitations. Um, as you guys see, as we continue to progress, these, his legs, his hamstrings, his back sort of free up. The brain doesn't perceive as much of a threat, so they're not holding onto those muscles as tight. That's cool how that's working, right? Yeah. It's weird. I can feel yeah. like blood coursing through my feet better. Yeah. So basically, we're reintegrating some neural pathways, basically clearing out threats from your brain to different areas of your body that can hold tension and perceive a threat which limit your mobility, if that makes sense. It does. So by kind of picking apart which joint specific action mm -hmm. your body's deeming threatening, we can try and clear it and allow your, your joints, your body to move a little bit, a little bit more efficiently. Then we have Ryan flip over, always reassessing his hip mobility, what his soft tissue play feels like, what his spinal mobility feels like, um, and just continuing to knock out any lingering deficits we might have in those areas. All right, so Ryan, your first one today, it's gonna to be at this box here. We're gonna do a little bit of uh, anti-rotation hold to start. So you're gonna hold here. What you're gonna do is let that band rotate you slightly, keeping your pelvis straight. You're gonna turn in, hold, lift the leg up. Don't rest the leg, little heel tap, back down. All right, Ryan, for this next one, band is going around your foot. Pole is here, just to give you a little added stability if you need. I'd rather you not lean on it if you don't have to. Just a little bit of input for your trunk to maintain an up, upright posture, okay? So you're gonna stabilize the leg, drive through and up with the hip, then back down. Again, I'm just like maybe fingertips here. If you don't need it, okay? Yeah. <laughs> just so you know, I practice these for a week before I give them to you. Just <laughs> you shall not pass. All right, 
for this next one. Oh, you can throw it to me. Yeah. We're gonna get into a tabletop position, okay? We're gonna make sure our heels are essentially under our knees, so our tibias are almost parallel, 90-90, as best as you can, right? I'm feeling the weight of my stability, mostly in my glutes here okay. and in my trunk, okay? So we're not overly extended, we're almost in like a slight curl up pattern, okay? What you're gonna do is rock into your right foot, and then as best as you can, maintaining your stability, you're gonna roll and push it to your left, okay? Now, if you don't maintain your spinal alignment, this is what's gonna happen. <laughs> we don't want that to happen. All right, so what you wanna do, as best as you can, very similar to a golf swing, maintain that alignment. We're here and we're trying to control it, okay? Take a swing, see how it feels. Take it out for a spin. Any golf swing? <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna pull something. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Looks good. It's in a hole. Oh, Jim, what, uh, have you seen such a shot in your <laughs> life? Okay, last one we're doing. Um, we're doing a bit of an RDL or Romanian style deadlift, deadlift or st stiff leg legged deadlift, if you will. Slight bend in the knee. If we're starting on your left leg, your right toe is gonna join your left heel. So where they're pretty much touching, there's maybe a little space in between. What you're gonna do is weight is in your left leg. You're gonna draw that down towards your toe. What I'm gonna do is pull up by pulling my hip sort of under you. So think tailbone is sort of getting pulled, dragged under you. Yeah. What you'll tend to see with these is people at that end range want to start the movement with back extension. That's not what we want to do. Um, what we want to try and do is in this position, pull through the hip, hinge the hip, pull it forward, extend the hip, extend the knee, don't overextend the back. Don't hinge when you get up here. So down, slight pause, pull up, and hold. Okay. okay. Ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, a thousand. I don't know if you heard. I did a thousand. <laughs> Oh, I could barely lift my right arm because I did so many. I don't know if you heard me counting, I did over a thousand. <clears throat> you have your ubulus muscle that connects to the upper dorsimus. It's boring, but it's part of my life. Woo, that's firing. So, if you guys weren't able to listen as Ryan and I were talking out through some of those things, I'm so proud of Ryan because they were a couple times on that right side, which we know his right hip external rotators, especially a little bit lower, those lower external rotators, don't always want to fire. He wants to compensate, he wants to shift. So I saw Ryan do one that didn't look so great to me. And as Ryan came up, he said, that was my back. And I said, you took the words out of my mouth because he tried to hinge hip hike more rather than pull through his hip. And I said, great, how do you correct it? He went back, he corrected it. Ryan is learning his body. He's learning where his body is, what it needs to do, and he's able to self-correct. And that, more than anything, is what one of the biggest things I hope you can get out of this, um, which then translates into the golf swing, right? How many times do you see a golfer go through and they're like, nope, I know that's because- You know what's happening to the result. Right, yeah. right. And so that's part of the process of just knowing what you should and shouldn't be feeling. Yeah. Yeah. I think one of the things along this journey is, is like you said, figuring out, like learning 
that my body's this wonderland of things that I just you need to need to correct that. That might be the song. Of the, yeah. Mike and I go through this thing of like just song lyrics back and forth, little drops here and there. And then you usually hear them as the background of the TPR Tuesday videos. Um, but but that's exactly it. Like sometimes with the golf swing, you you swing and you're like that sucked, but you don't necessarily know how it sucked. You mm -hmm. just know that it sucked. And I feel like hopefully. Yeah. I don't have any shitty swings, yeah. but moving forward, I can be like, that was my, like my hip didn't fire yep. or like I can feel the correction, which would Perfect. be awesome. Absolutely. Um, and, uh, again, great, great job. This, Dude, week, man. this was good. This yeah. was like, uh, I'm not huffing and puffing like the last two weeks. Yeah. I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not sleeping no. you know, yeah, at listen, all by any means. But your body's adapting. That's, but they're like yeah. tiny. It was like. Today was like internal. It was weird. And I said it, to, I said to Dr. Mike inside, like, I felt like we were working inside my bones today. Yeah. And like, you, I could feel it work in my hips. I could feel it. So it that's it, man. Not like, again, going back to those big. Phasic muscles. Wasn't like my, right. my, my, my glutes pulling yeah. it. It was. Some of those rotators. Those little that rotators. Yeah. That, yeah. Yep, for sure. That's it, so, man. So, my hey. man, thanks so much. Absolutely, dude. Appreciate Great it. Great job. Uh, uh, thanks for showing up again, everybody out there. That's it. Till next week. We'll see you next week. This is how we do it. <laughs>